Welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. Uh, we have got a bomber bottle here uh, from the No Lie uh, brew, uh, brew House out of Spokane, Washington. Um, brand new to us on the East Coast. Never had any of their beers. I've heard about this brewery. It's been around since the early 80s. Um, they've got a really cool story on their website. Um, this particular bomber was uh, given to me for a recommendation for two reasons. Um, number one, because I was told it's a pretty delicious IPA. Number two, it's new on the East Coast, at least for us in our area. And at the price point of $7 for a bomber for an IPA, I think that's a phenomenal price point. Um, like I said, we've got a really cool story. Uh, take that back. It's been around since 1993. I thought it was 83. It's 93. That's still a long time to continue to sell beer, do it well, and uh, like I said, most importantly, uh, be recommend, highly recommended. So it's an IPA. It's 7% alcohol. Um, it's called Born and Raised IPA. Um, let's see. They describe it as... Um, Let's see, uh, Expo sized IPA made from hops and, and barley harvested within 300 miles of the No Lie Brew House out of Washington's own Cascade, Columbus, and Chinook hops. Span across two row malts uh, from Armstrong, British Columbia. So they're using a lot of local ingredients, which is you're really smart. Doing a lot of really good things as far as supporting the local economy. People especially um, that will pay this kind of money as opposed to the macro beer price. Um, like to see that local utilization. So let's crack this thing open. It's got a really nice cool uh, top on it. Looks like a bunch of gondolas on the top there. Um, oh, this is cool. FIB Free Ales. FIB Free I didn't look that up. I didn't know what that is. Hmm. FIB Free Ales is in the middle. Leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Tell us what uh, that is all about for you guys on the West Coast who are used to this delicious brew here. Um, smells good. I, several feet away from me and I can smell it. It's got a real nice, I would call it a complex hoppy smell. Quite a bit of carbonation, uh, but you know, this is not uh, what I would call over excessive. Uh, it's got a real nice kind of caramel color to it. I think the ABVs were 80, um, if I remember reading that on the website. Mm, it's a little fruity. It's got a, maybe a little grapefruit in there. Just guessing right now. It's good. Um, it's a medium body. Quite a bit of carbonation. Um, this might be one you want to open and let just kind of chill out for a little bit. Um, the head definitely sticks around. Uh, laces the glass a little bit more than I would expect for a 7%, but 7%ers can do that. It's good. Um, it's a little bit, like I said, a little bit more carbonation than what I'm used to. Uh, it's got real nice hot flavor to it. It's got a little bit of sweetness in the background, which I actually kind of like. It's not, it's very subtle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's delicious. It's good. I'd definitely buy it again, except, especially at only $7 for a bomber. I mean, that's, that's a, that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, if you want to get a, uh, a kind of a good IPA in a bomber on a Friday afternoon and enjoy it. So, um, check it out. Let us know what you think. Everybody on the West Coast, please leave comments on our YouTube channel, our website, microbeerreviews.com, or on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you can follow us there, and most importantly, we upload often. So, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you uh, enjoy these videos. We appreciate it. We'll see you again real soon. Cheers.